Well, five more days to the rapture. September 19th, 2020. Five more days Jesus Christ will come for his church. Now, the reason why I am talking to you on my camera instead of on Facebook is that there are people that do not believe the rapture is going to occur. And they don't believe that we're ever going to see Jesus come back again. Some people are believing that uh, Jesus is a myth. Some people are believing that we are brainwashed, that we are following somebody that is leading us down the wrong path. And some people are saying, you gotta run! <laughs> okay. You know, I only go by what God has showed me. And I've been doing God's work for a long time. Ever since I was saved. Longer than that. Longer than that. Longer than that. Longer than that. I was five years old when I got hit by a car. Two hands grabbed my hands, put them on a bumper, and I never got a scratch on my body. Why is that? Why did God save me for such a time as this? I'm going to be 70 years old in October. But I'm never, but I'm never going to be there. My wife, she's never going to be there. My daughter, Elizabeth and Rebecca, they're not going to be there. They're going to be raptured. My grandkids, Kayla, um, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I pray that she is going to, and if she does see this video, that means we've been, we're gone being with the Lord and don't worry about it. We're in a better place. God didn't kill us. God just did what they call in the Greek harpazo, which means he snatched us out of this world before the world went crazy. Now you're going to hear a lot of things that are going to go on after all these people are gone. They're going to say that the COVID-19 was responsible killed all of our children and all the people and they disappeared or you're going to hear that an aliens <laughs> took us you're going to hear a lot of things that are going to happen but when you hear peace and safety look up the redemption is drawn nigh now they're going to do a peace pack now the guy you got to watch out for his name is Emmanuel Macron he is the Antichrist that is spoken in Revelation. He, he matches him. He came to power so fast. So fast. Without it, you know, he, he was boosted up by the Rothschilds, his Jewish bankers, and they're worth about $54 trillion. And they're the ones that got him up to where he's at now. And they've been hiding him. Now he's the president of France and soon to be the president of the UN. After the president of the UN, he, in three and a half years, will die. He will be wounded. And the book of Daniel talks about it, that there, there's going to be 10 kingdoms and a little, 11th little horn is going to come out of this 10th kingdom. And that 11th horn is the Antichrist. And he will be wounded in his head and he will lay in state for three days. Because people will adore him. And then after three days, they'll make an announcement as he goes into the holies of holies. Because they're already rebuilt the temple. Solomon's temple will be rebuilt. 
they already got the plans for it. They know where it's at, and they know how where to build it right next to Dome on the Rock. And after three and a half years, it's going to cause the, the Arab nation to break their treaty with Israel because the Antichrist made that happen. Remember that name, Emmanuel. God is with us. He thinks he's God. He thinks he's the Messiah. He thinks he's incarnate from Jupiter, which is, of course, Zeus. Now, there's going to be a lot of confusion. People are going to have a lot of accidents. You're going to think your children are at the hospitals. Somebody kidnapped them, but they're with God. Mickey and I told you they were with God. You didn't believe us when we told you that, but they are with God. I don't know what's going to happen with, with Myron. Myron is not going to be able to handle this. This is going to be really, really rough on him. He's going to be by himself. And he better get a gun or a rifle or something to protect himself. Because it is going to be worse than you ever can imagine. You're going to see the false prophet come into play. Along with... The Antichrist. The false prophet, of course, is going to be Francis. It was spoken by Malachi that he would be called the Black Pope and the last Pope. Okay. So, I wish I could give you more, but you got to open up your Bibles. You got to give your life to Jesus. You're going to end up dying for Christ if you don't do. If you don't, they're going to have you make, take the mark. The moment you take that mark, which is, of course, Marco, that's what it means, mark. The moment you take that mark, demons will come into you. Because God took away their earthly bodies and their heavenly bodies. This is not a joke. This is real. This is biblical and this is what happened. So... You're not going to be able to change. You're not be able. You're going to hate everybody. You're going to kill people. You're going to think that you're doing a, a favor for the Antichrist by killing haters, which are believers. And the way they're going to kill them is the guillotine. Now you're going to hear about these uh, witnesses. I don't know how many witnesses. They say they're coming from the lampstand and they're coming from the olive. The olive tree. I don't know. Some, it might be a lot of people. And again, it may not. I don't know. I know there's going to be 144,000 of the 12 tribes reunite and they're going to be sealed until they do their job. I believe that's three and a half years. And then after three and a half years, when, when Satan comes into the Antichrist, um, all heck's going to break loose. Because the witnesses are going to stand outside and say, look after a sign you wicked and perverse generation. Here's the only sign that you will get. Destroy these temples in three days. That's their body. And in three days, destroy these temples. And in three days, God will raise them up. Now, 
that three days is three years. They're going to have them, they're going to shoot them down in the street. And their bodies are going to lay there for three years. The corpses probably turn to dust. But on the third year, God is going to raise them up. And he's going to say after he raises them up and puts Sanu back on there, puts muscle in them, Sanu, blood, tissue, organs. When he does that, then he'll say, come me up hither. And then they will ascend into heaven. Five months after that, there'll be a war called Armageddon. Now, Armageddon is going to be where Jesus comes back with his bride on horseback and tens and tens and tens and tens and tens of thousands. But him himself. the Lord of Lord and King of Kings. And on his thigh is written his name and only he knows it. Only he knows it. Some people say it could be El Elia. Some people say it could be I am. Because that's what he said to Moses. Just tell him I am. I am. That's all I am. I am and I am. That's all I am. And then by the, his own breath, he will defeat them single-handedly. It will take two years for all the carcasses to be eaten or buried because the blood will be up to their bridles. over 100 million or more. Probably in the neighborhood of, I would say, will be probably raptured and the rest will be here. I was down in Chicago today and nobody, nobody is trying to Say, repent, repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Nobody is doing that. No ministers are doing that. So that gives me the understanding that everybody is preparing for this summit. Now, what's interesting about this summit tomorrow, this peace treaty of seven years, is it's called the Abraham Covenant found in Genesis 15. And it speaks about it. But here's what's going to happen. So you've got the idea. And the first seal was broken. And in heaven, they said, who is worthy to open up these seals? Who's worthy? And they say, nobody is worthy except the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. And you see the Lamb slaughtered. Throat cut. And then all of a sudden it becomes Jesus Christ. And you can see the his wrist, how his glory flows through it, and how the um, his nails and his feet see the glory there. He's got on this beautiful white robe.
that he showed me about when he came to us. And he presses his finger and his thumb, or his thumb, on the first one, and the seal was broken. And the first horseman came, and he was a white rider. And he came to make war with the saints. And he will. He will be more in diplomacy in the first three and a half years. He will not try to arrest people. He will not try to, he will try to make sure people's bellies are filled. He will make sure that his position is higher than anybody in the world. That's what he wants. Then he wants to be higher than God. Now, that's the white, white pale rider. The second rider is the red rider. And the red rider comes to conquer. And this man is designed to do one thing and one thing only. And that's to kill. To bring famine into the land. And that will happen in the three after the three and a half years. And then the next one will be called a penny of wheat for a day's wages or barley. And he's going to have scales. And he is going to bring famine into the land like nobody has ever, ever imagined ever could happen. Now the fourth writer his job is to destroy one third of the earth. And I believe that's through nuclear war. There'll be a, a winter hole that they call nuclear winter. People will not be able to see. Their skin will fall off their bodies like leprosy. And then they'll say, God, please, fall on us so we can die. But they will not be able to die. And then the fifth seal was opened. And when the fifth seal was opened, now the beheadings begin. And they will set up in Europe guillotines. Oh, by the way, the United States will not be here. November, December of this year, they will be overtaken by China and Russia. Hillary Clinton will become the president of the United States by the Antichrist. And she will have Donald Trump assassinated. For he will win the election. And Joe Biden will lose by a landslide. And he will roughshod over him. And he will die. And then Hillary Clinton will put a, metaphorically, a knife at his throat, trying to cause him to lose the election but he will not lose the election. He will win. But then they will come out to kill him. And these will be assassins from Russia, hired by Hillary Clinton. 
cover up for everything that she did in cahoots with Putin. And they will hire somebody in the beast. Six secret service men will die. And then when Donald gets in the beast, there will be an assassin there to kill him with a single assassin's bullet. But after three years, three and a half years, he will make war with the saints. He's coming in full wrath. He will go into the holies of holies, declare himself God. Biggins will follow him. The Jews along with him will lose over two and a half million out of the four and a half million because all the Edomites will be wiped out and the only thing that will be left will be the remnant. That's the fifth seal. And then, and then the people will be under the altar crying to God. Oh Lord, oh Lord, when will you avenge us as they will lift up their hands to heaven which they are in dripped in blood and the four and twenty elders will bring them white linen that they will be as white as snow as they say when will you avenge us when will you avenge us No, I think that's enough. I think I, I've kind of given you an idea a lot about what's going to happen. Everything's going to happen in Europe. Europe is right now going to a cashless society. Uh, China is getting is already in a cashless society. Um, everybody will be in a cashless society very soon, and they're going to come out with a, with a one-world currency and a one-world government. And over 60 to 70 percent of the evangelicals will follow him. Liberty will cease to exist around November. You won't be able to celebrate Christmas because the people that are going to take you over don't believe in Christmas. The Bible says you will be in prison. turned over to the magistrate and then put to death. I warned everybody. I warned them. I warned them. I don't know how many more warnings I can give you. This time I'm doing it on my own phone. And I'll get it over to uh, eventually to um the um, YouTube but it's drastic guys a guy asked me the other day from Russia he says where should I go and I gave him a good good explanation go to Australia I don't care what you gotta do get there get there and that's what I recommend for you get to Australia get into the outback and carry everything that you have convert all your money into gold into gold eventually when the one when the new world currency comes in uh, they will take all the gold and silver and tell you it's worthless 
Sell everything you have and give it to the poor if you have to. Sell everything. There's going to be a lot of homes people can hide in for three and a half years. There's a lot of people that have a lot of money. There's a lot of people that will be setting up you in the, as tribulation saints. They'll set you up in churches. They'll set you up in undergrounds. And you will be hunted by the Antichrist in three and a half years. You'll, you'll see witnesses and whatever they say, do. They're from God. Some of you that are out there say, oh, I don't know God. Don't want to know God. I'm an atheist. Well, let me tell you something. You're without excuse, as you can see now. <laughs> You're without excuse. Because what everybody thought 100, 200, 2,000 years ago is now happening. Planes will fall out of the sky. Two will be in the field. One will be taken. Two will be grinding in the mill. Two will be, one will be taken. When you hear of peace and safety, look up. Your redemption is drawn nigh. Get your life right. Because now you have to die for Christ. Don't fornicate. Don't be an adulteress. Go back to the Ten Commandments and read it and learn about it and stick to it. Because I told you, if you accept that mark, it's over for you. You'll have bruises. You'll have boils. you have so many things on your body. And God will bring all the plagues of Egypt with lice, frogs, livestock, smallpox, typhoid, hail as big as 115 pounds will be falling on you to kill you. And he will kill you. You'll be stung by a scorpion out of the abyss, which is Satan. It's called Apollyon. The demon Apollyon. And you will be stung. And you wish that you didn't. My friends, this is nothing to be... Huh. I don't want to hear it no more. I don't want to listen to this no more. Well, there's going to be other messages left out. There are other people that are going to spend their fortunes to make sure that you're safe. There are people that are going to have survival food in their houses. There's going to be people that are going to have seeds underground. There are going to be engineers that are going to have underground tunnels already prepared and places for you to stay at to protect you. Because there are people that will after the lawlessness, after the Holy Spirit goes up and God comes back down, there'll be a lawlessness like you've never seen. People will be shooting people in the streets. People will be going into people's homes, breaking into their homes very much like you've never seen before. Never will you ever see anything as bad as this. Imagine your worst nightmare. Multiply it times a hundred thousand. That is the tribulation hour. Well, this is Reverend Gary Emus um, telling you, Shalom. May the God of the universe truly bless you, keep you. And remember, God does love you. Don't let yourself down, okay? Shalom, my friends.